At the beginning of the movie, a group of five young friends get ready for a trip to Croatia to hike and climb mountains. The friend group consists of a trained hiker couple, Fred and Catherine, a nurse, Chloe, her boyfriend, Loic, and their friend, Guillaume. Before they start the trip, Fred asks Loic if he is comfortable with Guillaume joining them, since Guillaume has had a crush on Loic's girlfriend, Chloe, for a long time. Loic says it's fine, and the group sets off for the trip, unknown to what's coming to them. The drive up to the trail is awkward and uncomfortable for Chloe, as Guillaume tries flirting with her. A while later, they reach a stiff mountain, which they hadn't known about earlier. Fred, who has experience in mountain climbing, climbs up first and sets a rope, harness, and hooks for the others. Everyone else follows Fred behind the seemingly dangerous path. Loic, who is terrified of heights, complains throughout the climb as Chloe encourages him to move forward. As the group continues to climb, they realize the trail is not as easy as they thought. Moreover, they are exploring an area not certified as a hiking trail for adventure, so they don't know if the hike will get any easier. A while later, the group reaches an old and tiny rope bridge, which they will have to cross to reach the other end. The group carefully crosses it, one person at a time. Fred leads the way, followed by Guillaume and Chloe. Loic, again, is terrified, but somehow gets to the other end. However, when it is Catherine's turn, the bridge collapses midway, making her hang by the harness. Thankfully, the others pull her up, saving her life. But now, the group cannot return back through the way they arrive. Fred asks everyone to gear up because they will have to reach the other end of the mountain as soon as possible. As the group continues their journey, they have to climb another stiff cliff. Fred and Catherine easily cross and set out to look for a way. They ask the others to stay put and say that they will return after they find a way out. After the couple goes into the woods, Loic moves around, making the rope move as well. Eventually, he hangs by the harness, screaming for help. The other two are also hanging by a rope, so there is not much they can do to help. Still, Guillaume lends a hand to Loic, but the situation gets worse when he also falls off the rope. Catherine and Fred, on the other hand, are looking through the jungle when Fred starts to hyperventilate. Catherine tries to help him when suddenly he steps on a bear trap and hurts his leg. It starts to bleed excessively, but the couple cannot seem to get it out. Fred asks Catherine to get the others first so they can help remove the trap. She obliges and runs to the cliff again with the rope. Seeing the condition Loic and Guillaume are in, she quickly helps them get up. A selfish Loic disregards Guillaume and climbs on top of him to save himself. Eventually, all of them get out safely and make their way to Fred. Meanwhile, Fred whimpers in pain while holding his leg when suddenly he is pulled by the chain attached to the bear trap. Hence, when the group cannot find him, they are worried about his safety, especially Catherine, who is confused because he couldn't have gotten the bear trap off his foot by himself. She starts looking for him hysterically, but a coward Loic suggests they look for a way out first. He and Catherine get into an argument, which ends when Chloe says they should look for Fred first. The sun is almost about to set, and all the flare lights are with Fred, so if they leave him behind, they won't make it out. The group gets together and looks for him all around. As they walk, Loic and Guillaume get into a heated argument regarding Chloe. Loic asks Guillaume not to talk to Chloe after the trip, but Guillaume smugly says that she isn't over him yet, revealing they were once together. Loic punches Guillaume, and eventually the two fight each other. Chloe runs to them, but falls into a deep pit on the way. The others ask her if she is fine, but get no reply. The pit is pitch black, so they can't see what happened to her. Catherine ties a rope to a stone and uses it to go down the pit. Inside, she sees that the pit is actually a trap filled with sharp stones and branches. One of them has pierced through Chloe's arm, but other than that, she is safe. Loic and Guillaume watch them from above. When Guillaume feels like someone is watching them. He tells Loic about this, only to be dismissed. They bring Chloe out and dress her wound. Just then, she remembers the time a child patient was killed because of her mistake. The incident has been haunting Chloe for a long time, but she hasn't been able to get it off her head. In fact, they planned this trip so she would feel better, but the plan has clearly failed. After they bring her out, Catherine tells them that someone has deliberately set the trap so they should be careful. Then we are shown a clip of an unconscious Fred being dragged on the ground. Eventually, the sun sets and it starts to rain, but the group keeps walking, still looking for Fred. 
Catherine is exhausted and feels hopeless, but Chloe motivates everyone to keep going. They believe that spreading out will make it easier for them to find him quickly, but are too scared to be alone. Hence, they tie each other with the ends of the same rope so they can pull it in case they need help. Finally, they spread out, going deeper into the woods. Only a few minutes later, an arrow strikes Catherine, hurting her gravely. She falls to the ground and pulls on her rope, only to find out that someone has cut it. Just then, Chloe sees Catherine and runs to help her. But before she gets to her, someone pulls Catherine away with the chain attached to the arrow. The guys calm Chloe down and take her to a nearby area to rest. After the rain stops, the three continue the journey and reach a cabin in the woods. They believe they can finally get help and run inside quickly. However, shock and fear washes over them when they see a naked and bloodied Fred lying on a table. They try to help him, but he has been tortured and has lost a lot of blood. Slowly, as they watch him, Fred passes away. The three know that whoever did this to Fred will be back soon, so they plan to run away. But Guillaume claims that all the gears are with Fred, so they have to get his bag first. Loic doesn't want to go back inside the cabin, so Guillaume goes in alone to look for the gear. While searching, he finds a secret door on the floor that leads to a creaky room. He walks down and sees animal heads mounted on the wall, along with gears to hunt them. More disturbingly, he finds decapitated human heads hanging from the ceiling. A wall has the name Anton written on it. He finally finds the bag with supplies and makes his way out. Loic appears at the top of the stairs and stops Guillaume on the way. He gets the gear from the man and kicks him back into the room. Jealous of Chloe being closer to Guillaume, Loic locks him in the room and runs out to her. He lies saying Guillaume is dead and asks Chloe to run with him. She retaliates not wanting to leave another friend behind. As the two argue, the cannibal and the owner of the cabin, Anton, arrive there with Catherine's dead body. He knocks Chloe out in one go and lets out a deadly scream. A terrified Loic backs up but is attacked by Anton. He hits him repeatedly, almost killing him. But Chloe gets up at the right time and saves him. As she fights the psychopath, a cowardly Loic runs away with a flare torch, leaving her behind. Chloe is surprised, giving Anton a chance to hit her. He easily knocks her out with a kick. When Chloe wakes up a while later, she and Guillaume are tied in the basement. While Anton tends to Fred and Catherine's dead bodies, he hears noises from the basement. He goes downstairs and brings Chloe up with him. On the other hand, Loic runs out of flares while running through the woods and has nowhere to go. Guillaume somehow manages to untie his hands and free himself. But when he tries to go behind Chloe and Anton, the door is locked. Anton walks towards Chloe with a knife when Loic arrives and attacks him at the right time. He throws a stone at the man and runs away, making Anton chase him with his crossbow. Then Chloe opens the door for Guillaume and the two prepare to leave. Guillaume says that if they go looking for Loic, they will probably end up dead. He hands Chloe a knife and asks her to follow him, but Chloe insists on saving Loic first. Meanwhile, Anton hits Loic on his leg with a crossbow, making him yell in pain. The two fight, but Loic is easily overpowered. Loic acts brave for the first time in the movie and uses the arrow stabbed in his leg to attack Anton. He then hits the man repeatedly with a rock and crawls away from him. At last, he falls off a cliff and hangs onto a rod. Anton watches him fall off from afar and disappears from the sight. Guillaume and Cleo arrive at the scene and help Loic. As Guillaume pulls him up, he remembers what Loic did to him earlier and changes his mind. He acts like his hand is slipping and deliberately lets go of Loic. Chloe cries, mourning her boyfriend's death, while Guillaume comforts her with a hug. Right then, Anton hits Guillaume with a crossbow right on his head, killing him at last. Chloe screams in horror as Guillaume falls to the ground. In a fit of rage, she loses control and attacks Anton. She hits him with the knife that Guillaume had given her, and the two get into an intense fight. Anton overpowers her in an instant and hits her repeatedly. Suddenly, Chloe screams his name, making him stop abruptly. He composes himself and raises his hand again, but Chloe slashes his throat at the right moment. She gets on top of him with the knife to end him for good, but stops when she gets flashes of the patient that was killed because of her. So instead, she leaves him there to die. Chloe then escapes to the cable and in tearful joy, begins the descent to safety. However, she has left her knife behind, which Anton takes up and goes to the cable. As Chloe is traveling down the cable, a loud snap is heard and the screen turns black, implying that Anton managed to cut the cable and kill her. 
the film ends with the note that says Loic's body was found at the foot of Velika, while Fred, Catherine, Guillaume, and Chloe still remain missing. Moreover, a boy named Anton Zomeric, who was kidnapped at the age of five, has never been found. In the same area, more than 3,000 people have disappeared to date with no explanation. The movie ends with a picture of the group taken before the trip is shown. Thank you for watching, guys.